Hey guys, what's up? My name is Kenya and I am from Duval County, Florida, currently residing in Charleston, South Carolina. I'm an esthetician, um, makeup artist, uh, beauty influencer, fashion influencer, all of the above. Today we're going to be doing a Vogue style get ready with me. Um, we're doing a couple of fun things today so I want to take you guys behind the scenes to do that. If you're interested, just keep watch. Today we're doing a vlog style get ready with me and I'm going to take you guys into my skincare journey um, so this morning we're going to be using Serena Nicole skincare um, facial wash as well as her Coco Shea body butter um, and then uh, I think that's it um, I'm going to show you guys what I do from start to finish to kind of get me started on my day and we'll go from there the first thing I'm going to do um, after I brush my teeth and everything in the morning I kind of wake up wash my face and I want to make sure that my lips are moisturized so I'm going to use the Serena Nicole Coco Shea Chapstick um, this has been really really good because it keeps my skin hydrated as well as moist I'm going to start by using the Honey Tea Tree Face Wash um, this is made with honey, tea tree oil, rosemary oil, etc, etc. So I'm just going to wet my face. And about this soap, it doesn't really like foam up like that because it's made with Castile soap. But I'm going to go ahead and just clean it. So I'm going to rinse this off and then I'm going to go to my next step. Now that all of our product is rinsed off, I'm going to go ahead and start with my um, rose hip oil. I use rose hip to keep my face hydrated and glowing throughout the day. We're going to go ahead with our rose hip oil. So I'm just going to take a little bit on my hands, rub it together, and just massage this into my skin. And you always want to work um, from um, like liquid to solid, if that makes sense. So all of your oils and things like that, you wanna massage that into your face first, and then massage the rest. Take the Coco Shea Lotion, and I'm just gonna use a little bit of this um, on my face. It is kind of thick, so you're gonna wanna be careful um, not to put too much. I only use a little bit, because I'm trying to heal up the rest of my scarring. I had like a bunch of scars from just like pass and try to get rid of some flare-ups and hormonal acne here and there, blah blah blah. So I use this to make my scars go away. And cocoa butter is perfect for hyperpigmentation. So if you have any dark spots, any acne scarring, this is perfect for that. The last and arguably the most important step of my skincare routine is to use a sunscreen. I've been using this one from Clean Beauty for about four months now. I bought it from Target. It blends into my skin pretty well, um, but make sure you're wearing a sunscreen every day. Every day you go outside, wear a sunscreen. If it's raining, wear sunscreen. If the sun's not out, wear sunscreen. If the sun is out, wear sunscreen. And apply it um, after every three to four hours. Please don't make excuses. Black people do get skin cancer. Wear sunscreen, okay? Anyways, enough of my soapbox. We are moisturized and we are good for the day. So I'm gonna go get ready. One of my close friends is having a brunch and we're gonna go get ready for that. Anyways, we made it to my room. I am unsure what I'm wearing today, but I'm gonna do my makeup real quick because it takes no time. The primer that I'm using is from Makeup Forever. I've had this forever. I'm using this to um, for my face. And next I'm gonna do my eyebrows really quickly. I've kind of changed my eyebrow routine because I don't know, I just wanted something easier to do, so. I'm using is from NARS. It is the soft, what is this? Soft matte complete coverage concealer in the color biscuit. At the top, I'm using Becca Ultimate Coverage Concealer in the color Honey. 
This concealer is full coverage and it is very thick, so you don't need a lot at all. And then out. Okay. And then I'm gonna take a concealer and put a little bit all on the top. This brush is from Sephora. It is the Pro Concealer Brush number 71. And you just want to blend that all over your eyelid. So now, I'm going to take that same concealer and we're going to get our under eyes under control. That's good enough. Now we're going to use some foundation. I'm going to use the Ultimate Coverage Cream from Becca and the Colors Honey and Sepia. I mix these two together because Honey is like an olive undertone and Sepia has a more like warm undertone. And so I mix them together to make my perfect shade. Sepia kind of makes me a little dark and Honey makes me a little yellow. So I can use them both, but one is like my summer color and one is my winter color. I'm gonna brighten up my under eye with my other NARS concealer. This one is called Biscuit and it is the Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm gonna take my other beauty blender and blend this out. I'm gonna set my face with my oh, milk cosmet or milk makeup setting powder, and this is the color transparent or something. Translucent medium. It shows how much I wear these products. <laughs> I like to switch up my setting powder because. To one. Use the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick as my contour. This is the color Walnut. And I'm just going to go around my perimeter and then right underneath my cheekbones to give me a little bit of um, contour. And some days I contour my nose, but some days I don't. But I'm going to show you guys how I do it anyway. Just take any brush. This one is an eyeshadow brush. And I'm gonna just take a little bit and kind of go along the edge of my nose like this and blend it up into my eyebrow. And then I'm gonna blend the rest in as well. It's very important that you blend this like up. Perfect, I'm gonna take some blush. Today I'm gonna to use my Juvie's Place blush palette. So I'm gonna use this color Toby, and I know it's bright, but I love my skin to just look very warm. So I love to use this one. And I'm putting it just on my cheeks. If you guys don't know where the apples of your cheeks are, they're right there. Um, but I've been doing makeup so long that I obviously know where to put it. And I do put some on the tip of my nose, just, I don't know, it gives me a little warmth. And I take it all the way up the side of my face to give me a flush, blush look. And I'm gonna take this same bronzer, I'm gonna use the eyeshadow brush and just give my lid a little color. So I'm gonna start right here, kind of like where I put my contour earlier and just kind of get in my crease and give it a little color. Um, I like to do this for everyday makeup just because it gives me a little bit of definition uh, without doing like full eyeshadow and if you're lazy like me, you'll do it too. And the good thing about it, you can just take it down. So if you want like a more contoured look, just take it all the way down your nose and I even feather it out on the sides too. Like liner pencil from NYX in the color. What is the color? Lip pencil, lip pencil. Oh, mahogany. And I'm gonna overline my top lip. I'm kind of just giving it some more definition because 
I would like a more defined lip line, so I just kind of put extra liner on like the perimeter. I don't technically make them look bigger, but I put a little bit extra. Let's do a lip gloss. This one is from NARS and it is the shade Striptease and I'm just gonna put that right on top. I usually do a lipstick and a lip gloss, but I don't know. I'm gonna wear um, Nefertiti from Juvia's Place. It is kind of like a rose gold based highlighter. Very messy. And that's about it. I'm gonna do my hair and I'll be right back. Hey guys, so I made it back. Um, I finished my hair and I am ready to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me. Um, all the products that I used will be down below. Guys, enjoy the rest of your day, and I hope that you stay hydrated. Um, don't forget to moisturize, don't forget to sunscreen, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Bye!